For this demonstration, I'm going to go over some of the capabilities of the Cloud Video Interop and OneTouch Join solutions from Pexip. Using OneTouch Join, I will show a simple way for users to join into Teams meetings using a standards-based video endpoint, such as the Cisco Room Kit behind me. You will also see a Teams-like layout that is unique to Pexip for the CVI gateway. Scheduling a Teams meeting with CVI does not change the workflow for the user. When the meeting is scheduled, the CVI policy adds additional dial-in details at the bottom of the Teams meeting. This meeting is then sent to the calendar resource associated to this video endpoint. From there, the Pexip OTJ solution will scrape that calendar, find that dial-in information, and provide a join button for that, end, for that meeting. When the user is ready, they can walk up to that touch panel, press the button, and the endpoint will then dial out to join that team's meeting. As it joins the meeting, you're gonna see we're getting a splash screen to notify the user they are being connected to this team's call. That splash screen can be customized for each of the organizations. Now, additionally, because this endpoint is part of my organization, I am automatically brought into this team's meeting bypassing the team's lobby. Also, because I am part of this organization, I am getting avatars from the audio participants within my company so I can see who I'm speaking to. We're also pulling notifications from Teams to the video endpoint. So here, I can see that both of these audio participants are muted. If one of them were to unmute, I would see the purple ring around this audio avatar to notify me that this is the participant that is speaking. I'm getting a raised hand notification from one of the participants here so that I can see that one of them has a question and I can call on them and speak with them when I'm ready for, when I'm ready for their questions. Additionally, we're able to bring notifications from Teams onto the video endpoint itself. So, if I were to start streaming and recording, or streaming, uh, recording and transcribing this meeting, I will get a notification on the top of this screen here and an audio notification that this meeting is now being recorded. This meeting is now being transcribed. This is the same location that I will get notifications when there are participants that are trying from outside my organization trying to join into this meeting. So if I can bring in some of my video participants, you're gonna see that I have a notification and action is acquired. From here, I can go to my Teams client and I can admit these users from the lobby. As they start to populate on the call, you're gonna notice that we're actually utilizing both of the screens within this dual screen setup. I have participants on the main screen as well as participants dialed in on the content screen. Additionally, if you notice, I still have my audio participants on the call. So I can see both my video participants and my audio participants within this Teams meeting. Very, very similar to the actual Teams client that everyone is used to. We also bring forward other notifications and other features from the Teams client. So for example, if we needed to focus on Wendy here, from the Teams client, I can spotlight her from everyone, for everyone and she will take over the primary focus of that main screen. All other participants will be pushed to that side screen so that we can still keep contact with all the, everyone on the call as well as the audio participants on the side. Also, I can share content to and from the Teams client from the, using the CVI. So if I were to select something here for share, I'm sharing from the Teams client, I am getting the content shared on screen and all the other participants are pushed to this main screen as you would expect it to happen. Wendy is still spotlit. I can still see all my other participants on this call. That is a quick demonstration of the CVI capabilities for the 
PECSIP solution. Now that you've seen a scheduled Teams meeting from within my organization, what happens if I get a Teams meeting from outside my organization that does not have CVI details? Here, I have a Teams meeting that does not have CVI details. There is no dial-in information. Because I have the PECSIP OTJ solution, I can take this meeting invite, send it to the calendar resource for this endpoint. PECSIP OTJ will then scrape this, find that it is a Teams meeting, and find the pertinent information for this Teams call. We will isolate that meeting information, generate a SIP URI, and I can still schedule this meeting and have a one button to join for a non-CVI CVI enabled meeting. So if I press the join button, I initiate a call, I'm getting a splash screen from the other organization, but I am put into a lobby. This is because I am a guest to this other meeting. It is outside of my organization. So from here, I have to be admitted from by the host of this meeting. Once the endpoint is admitted and brought into this meeting, you're gonna see the same layout that we saw with the previous scheduled CVI call. I can see all of my video participants within this call. I can see also my audio participants in this call. Because I am not a member of this organization, I am the guest, I am not getting the avatars associated to these audio participants. So with this demonstration, you've seen a Teams CVI call being scheduled. You saw it join using PECSIP, a one-touch join solution. And I was able to dial into a Teams meeting that does not have CVI capabilities using my own gateway.